All right, well, what's up, it's Chanel, and this is a little special Vital Vinyl vlog. I don't really think there's any records or cassettes being shown in this episode, but I've been asked a couple times to make a video about uh, clothing. I don't know shit about fashion, but, you know, I do like wearing record label shirts, distro shirts, band shirts. So I'll show you what I have to work with and whatnot and uh, tell you some stories behind some of these shirts. Let's do it. Now here we have a Grave Dust shirt that the band was nice enough to send. Sickening, sickening, crushing death metal from the Pacific Northwest. Thank you, Tim Mellon and Damien, for hooking up this piss grave long sleeve. This is almost a year old already, which is kind of crazy. But uh, yeah, this sold out like immediately, but they were nice enough to put one aside for me, which was awesome. I found this at <laughs> at the Barbary after Artificial Brain's record release show on the ground like trampled. I normally just wear it to bed because it's a size way too big for me, but uh, you get the Paolo Giarde artwork from Labyrinth Constellation, I think is the name of uh, the debut full length. I don't have a copy of it, but I love artificial brain and I love this long sleeve. I kind of like how it only has the logo on one side and this side's just blank long sleeve, nothing on the back. Again, thanks to Ohio Cosmic Death Dealers Inoculation. This is like originally supposed to be just like, I, I think the printer was doing like a Dr. Dre shirt, but they just ended up throwing the inoculation logo on it, like kind of as a joke, and they decided to bring it out on tour, and as lame as it sounds, I always wanted a shirt with a pot leaf on it, like after I broke edge, I was just... I always thought it looked cool, like, watching those old, like, rap videos. They would have, like, the censored out pot leaves on their hat. This was just a big callback to that era, and I love the inoculation logo. It's got the two upside-down crosses. It's just bad fucking ass. And here is probably the most comfortable long sleeve I have, and it's, a uh, Cerebral Rot Cessation of Life. And, uh, this is one of the, um, first Pyro Press shirts that I got after I was told that the price of merchandise from 20 bucks spin was going to be going up. I remember I grabbed this a little bit before that, and, uh just so fucking comfortable and I love everything about it cessation of life on that sleeve you get the four caskets on this one and this rotting fucking thing on the back and on the front you have the cover of cessation of life awesome stuff here's an oldie spectral voice Asphyxiated by beings, shapeless, unknown, you die. Here's how you could tell this is old. The arm logos are fading. If any of you have a copy of the um, Total Isolation Winfield demo, take a look at the cover art and then take a look at this. But this is an old spectral voice long sleeve for Necrotic Doom. You have the dudes on the back, 
Sick shit. I love that fucking long sleeve. Thanks to Chad at Frozen Soul for this birthday gift. No weak shit. You got the icy bear. Just a nice family friendly shirt. I mean, nobody's really gonna be like, what's that say? Oh no, it says sweet shit. But here we go. Spectral voice eroded corridors of unbeing. I got this as part of the pre-order. I love that Dark Descent logo. They have it on shirts. I don't know if they still do, but I fucking love that logo. And that is on the rear. Oh no, the uh, SV thing is. I fucking love Manifestor's art. Which, do not get confused with Festering Flem's art. Now, I'm sorry, I love Festering Flem, but like... Uh, <laughs> imitation is the best form of flattery, right? Because who's Manifester? Who's Festering Phlegm? Even though they're both fucking sick. This is a cavern shirt. And again, thank you to the band for sending this over. The fuck, I love that design so fucking much. And the kind of tip of the hat to a crematory with the logo. But like I was saying, the one thing as sick as that back is, it looks so much like the Spectral Voice one. No big deal. This is one of my personal favorites right here. Wendegang Durenlager Alasar. I got this when I saw them at St. Vitus in 2017. So fucking sick. I never cut the sleeves off, so you get that nice, you know, pit stain after a while. You gotta love it. These sleeves are probably coming off soon. Here we have Coffin Rot. Again, thank you to Hayden and the boys. And congratulations. But this was before the full length. This is when they were still on Rotted Life. And just had the demo and stuff out. I love this shirt. And it's fucking sick. Next up. I love this fucking long sleeve. I have this on a zip up as well. Realms is one of my favorite US black metal bands. So getting to support Grim Abyss and Vathar, Perthro, it's fucking awesome. But Realms is my shit. And Vathar, if you're watching this, I am working on getting you your stuff here's a nice their gothin demo t-shirt i got from miseko anonjo for my birthday a couple years ago this is one of my favorite shirts i own death metal maniac cyanide i got this in denver colorado when I saw Cyanide at Dark Descent Records 9th Anniversary Show. But these were only printed for that show. So like, these are kind of rare. This was like $8 I think. And I think the long sleeves were like 10 I don't know why I didn't get a long sleeve. I probably should have. Now if you can read that, good for you. But it's blank music and movies. Just an awesome design though. But if you can read that, you might win something pretty sick. Here's an old full of hell long sleeve. I like the pink font. It's just different. But fuck that dude right there. I got this a while back, I think like 2015 or some shit. 
Oh yeah. Eternal champion. I don't know why it looks like that guy has like a 50 pound dong. But it's all good. Nice Conan the Barbarian worship. My steel was old when death was young. Again, I love this fucking shirt. And I love Dead Congregation. I was going to get a Siege Column shirt, but it's fucking Dead Congregation. I couldn't help myself. Look at that thing. Kiss the goat, motherfucker. Apraxic gun implant demo art. Thanks again to Apraxic for sending this. I love this demo and I love this fucking shirt. Nice MSUO shirt. Thank you, Jesus. You're the fucking man. Some blood incantation stuff. This was their tour with uh, Demilich. Or Demilich, however the fuck you want to say it. I just call it Demilich. But just Star Spawn. And here we have Larry and the logo. I don't wear this one enough. As you can see, it's still in very, very nice condition. Wait till you see the one from the pre order. Fetid, draped in what was. Definitely spent $30 on this long sleeve at the fucking show. That's a lot of money for a long sleeve, I'm sorry. 25's normally like at a show like what I'm gonna pay but it's fetid I didn't know if they were gonna make more so I had to grab it next up fucking hails to pestilent death for sending this my way it's a badass shirt and I accidentally skipped foul who sent this amazing long sleeve over one of my favorite releases of last year. So fucking good. I like how like no one in Philadelphia has this either. So like when you wear it, it's just like, all right, I'm the only person with this shirt. Same probably with a lot of these. Here's a personal like favorite Time Ghoul, Mark Riddick long sleeve. And this was only washed twice. But I love Impure, so it's all gravy, but that's kind of a bummer. I do like how it looks way older than it is, but oh well. All right, here we have Scorched Ecliptic Butchery Long Sleeve. Got this at St. Vitus, like right after the record came out. Whoops. Which was actually the last time I saw the dudes live. Amazing shirt. Uh, Pirate Press again, the HD Cotton. That's why you're paying extra, by the way. The HD Cotton is like the fucking shit. Here's a Spectral Voice European Tour shirt from 2018. Yeah. Because there's the dudes. And I already got my Crips and Spectral Voice tickets for Philly. I'm also going to try and make it to the uh, as many shows as possible, actually. Boston Red Sox. I'm a big... Red Sox fan, even though I don't even like baseball, I've had this shirt since, uh, yeah, 2006. And this shirt's been through a lot of stuff, and I just love it. Another old Spectral Voice shirt. This is the classic Stay Death design. It looks brand fucking new. Necrotic Doom. I might wear this today, actually. One of the best EPs ever. Multiversal Abator. 
Faceless Burial from Australia on Miseko on Unjo. Again, fucking hails. Faceless Burial actually sent this over with the LP, if I remember. And here's an old Gate Creeper shirt. I'm sure they reprinted it, but I got this in like 2015. I think it was 2015. But it's pretty badass. Even though I'm not the biggest Gate Creeper fan, I really like this shirt. It's just super old school and badass looking. No back though. And this Outer Heaven shirt, it's like their own Altars of Madness, which I think is fucking badass. Again, this is an old one. I love the Heather Gray. I'm kind of colorblind, so I'm sorry if that's not Heather Gray, but it's fucking badass. You get the band logo on both sleeves and this awesome design on the front. Here's a sick blood incantation shirt. You got the pyramids on this sleeve, the insectoids on this one, and on the back we have Larry in purple. No death as known, only doorways. You are the Stargate. Fucking Circadian Ritual. The band sent this over. This is another one of those bands you guys gotta pay more attention to. So fucking sick. Check these guys out. And this is probably my personal favorite Blood Incantation shirt. This is from... The Morbid Angel Tour has Star Spawn on this sleeve. Some fucking churning lava on the back. All the tour dates from the American Extinction Tour. Yeah, that was that was the Morbid Angel Tour. Here's another awesome gift by Mario from Petrification. We got the Petrification Skull. Awesome fucking shirt. Here's another Outer Heaven long sleeve. I love this design so fucking much. Let me see if I can. There you go. Fucking sick. I love the way that red pops. And on the sleeves you have the logos. This is a nice one. Even though I hate the fucking record label. But, Gruesome Dimensions of Horror, three-quarter sleeve baseball. Awesome artwork. You get some Repka. Anytime you can get some Repka art on a shirt, fucking A. And here's probably the most popular Blood Incantation design, the Interdimensional Extinction. But, I'm pretty sure this is a tour, yeah, this is a tour one. From 2017, Western Abominations. No, no, no. I, I just I just grabbed this off the website actually. And here, Fatal Agent, Innocent Victims, some thrash metal, and Scorched before they were signed to 20 bucks spin. I love this shirt. For multiple reasons. I think it's a sick design. I love it. I think this was around Hymns from the Cellar. This is a real old one. Ohm Pilgrimage. If you don't know who Ohm is. Definitely check out Conference of the Birds. And it's fucking Milo from the Descendants. Milo goes to college. I got this at a record store in Denver. Awesome shirt. So that's all that's in here. So let's go check out the mess. And when I said mess, I meant mess. Like, I'm not going to be able to unfold all these shirts and show you. But here's Galvanizer. Sanguine Vigil, but there's something about this shirt I love so much, and that's the back of it. Look at this. How fucking cool is that? But sadly, I wish they printed more of these. This thing ripped, like, 
not even like a week after I got it. And it's like a gnarly hole too. Look at that shit. But awesome, awesome artwork. Finish as fuck. I love Galvanizer. And I really wish that shirt didn't die. It didn't die, but you know what I mean. Here's a Demilic tour shirt. Demilic. I fucking love this band. And I love this shirt. I have a Nest Peth shirt as well, but this one's just so fucking sick. And tour dates on the back. Rest in peace to the Mill Creek. I'm going to do my best here. Here's a Vastum. Hole below. The back has a... Uh, like the cr the cross design and like these angels and shit sitting on it. Badass. Here's a Zathser shirt from like 2005 when he first started making real shirts. But this was I think a Southern Lord shirt. I got this when I saw him doing vocals for Sun. Like, right after Sun Black 1 came out. So, around that time period. You know, this isn't from that Doomgrass bullshit. This is another badass Morbid I mean, a Blood Incantation shirt. Orbital Remains. It's another new design. But I got this on tour. But you can get this from... The Dark Descent website, I think. Hidden History of the Human Race. Here's another Demilic shirt. My white one I wore, I think, yesterday. So that's in the uh, hamper. But you have the cover art to Nespeth. And on the back, the tour dates. Here's a spectral voice, short sleeve, with the artwork from the split on it. I love this fucking shirt. Awesome. And here is probably the one rare blood incantation shirt that I fucking love to death. I have so many Blood Incantation shirts, I could do a whole video on it, but this is why. This was given to me at a show in Denver a little bit after this tour, and I just, it means a lot to me. It's a gift, and it's fucking sick. Here's another shirt I got when I saw Wonder Gang in New York. Misanthropology. And on the back, Kill Town Death Metal. Sick fucking shirt. There's so much to go through here. Oh my goodness. Here's another Wonder Gang shirt, but this one is from MSUO. I think? Yeah. This is an MSUO one. I fucking love that band. Another one of my favorites. Morbid Angel, Abominations of Desolation. This is when Morbid Angel was fucking at their sickest. I mean, look at the artwork. It's so good. Classic. And here's a gutted spectral voice. T-shirt. I have the long sleeve and black and gray. This is just a white t-shirt of it. I got that also with the pre-order. Here we have some more stuff. We have a Frenolith shirt. A 
I'm sorry if this isn't interesting, but this was very much requested. My buddy grabbed this from me, uh, for me, at Maryland Death Fest, actually. Thank you, Dennis. Somebody stole the sleeves. But here is something that legit has been through so much. Incantation onward to Golgotha. Golgotha. This isn't a reissue, but I'm talking 2006. Maybe 2005. I forget when they put this one out. But yeah. I used to get made fun of so bad for this shirt. How can you like that boring ass shit? Here's some more Outer Heaven stuff. I think this is a festering phlegm design, just based on how it looks. But I always liked the uh, font on this one. It's fucking super gross looking and awesome. One of my favorite bands from Richmond, Virginia. Left Cross. Scott from Antichrist Siege Machine does drums. So fucking good. In the service of death. Here's a ghoul shirt. I got at a, a ghoul show actually with DRI and Phobia. It's a weird lineup. And a fun ass show, so I grabbed the shirt. Here's another Fatal Agent shirt in black. I think this is the same. Oh no, behind enemy lines. Here we have a very old Sun Oracle shirt. I think it has like Southern Lord on the, yeah, Southern Lord on the sleeve, and on the back it has the lyrics, which are all in, I think, German? Not sure, but it's one of those shirts I always liked, and here's a revenge shirt, no remorse. Desolation, in Sigma. Over here, we have Apollo Giarde design for the band Drug Honky. I actually won this in a contest, but uh, Coca Skies is a fucking weird, badass album. And the artwork that Giarde did on here is fucking brilliant. I love it. And this is some awesome experimental fucking weirdness. I highly recommend that band. Also, Swamp Witch, Doomed for Eternity, Hails to James Rowell. This is an awesome fucking shirt. I need to wear that bad boy some more. And I'll show you the rest. Yeah, we have more. The Harlot requires self-extinction. Leviathan. Love that razor blade design. It's just fucking sick. Here we have some German black metal in Wodenflüster on uh, Nordvis and Bindrun Records. I got that at the first Decibel Metal and Beer Fest. Alongside that Panopticon shirt. Very underrated nature-based black metal. They have a great split with Panopticon. Now here's the original Star Spawn pre-order t-shirt. As you can tell by the ink, I've worn this bad boy to death, and I love it. It's so fucking sick. Now 
No death is known, only doorways. You are the Stargate. Might as well go through more Blood Incantation shirts. This is another Star Spawn shirt from the American Extinction Tour. Logo, tour dates, etc. Here's another Outer Heaven shirt. Or did I go over this one? No, I didn't. <laughs> See? Some of these shirts, they look the same. But they're not. See? Different font. And this is kind of sick. I always like the back of this one. Abominations of Time. It's got these, like, cavemen. And again, I think this is Festering Flems art. I'm not 100% sure, but I am 100% sure that Ascended Dead fucking rule. Abhorrent Manifestation. Invictus Productions and Dark Descent Records. This is one of the, my favorite like recent death metal records. It's just fucking perfect. Damn, there's so much shit here. Now here is a gutted blood incantation uh, interdimensional extinction t-shirt. See, it's not on tour based. This is a uh, Old as hell, actually. But when I say gutted, I mean it's like gutted. This is pretty much like if I was in a band, I would be wearing that. Wear it anyway. Very old suffocation shirt. And Jesus wept. Prayers to the feeble God to whom you once believed in. Classic. Here's another fucking classic. Cannibal Corpse. Eaten back to life. Fuck yes. Old logo and everything. Some... Well... We'll go to this Mortician shirt from 2005. New York Death Metal. And it just has the logo up front. Old ass shirt. I love it. We're getting down to the bottom for the most part. Here's another Blood Incantation shirt. It's a Hidden Species, I think. Yeah, corrupting your DNA to make your soul obsolete. You have Morris, Isaac, Jeff, and the mighty Paul Riddell. Got some Nuclear War Now shorts. These are fucking mad comfortable. They're made of, like, silk. They're basketball shorts. They're, well, gym shorts, but... Highly recommend snagging a pair. Speaking of that, Blasphemy, Ross Bay Colt Eternal. Fucking A. Time Ghoul. Sorry. Panoramic Twilight, and on the back, I am a god, the prime being, I shall impale you on the crumbled pillars of the millennia. Another just badass fucking shirt. Here's a Twilight t-shirt. If you don't know who Twilight, this is also gutted. Twilight was a black metal super group. And this is when they were on Southern Lord Records. Um, 
You had like Jeff Whitehead, um, Blake Judd, Malefic from Zafser, and a couple other people involved. I forget everybody's name off the top of my head. But the Disciples of Despair. Just an old, old reminder of when, you know, U.S. black metal was taking off during a certain time period. Here we have some more Ross Bay cult shit. And in the form of... Death Worship Extermination Mass. Alright. Sorry. Now, this shirt right here has a nice little story behind it. Lord Worm himself sold me that None So Vile shirt. They were touring on Once Was Not, actually. I got to see Lord Worm twice, and that was the second time. He was working the merch table, and I was like, oh my god, I need to get that. And we ended up talking, because I know he teaches English, but my mother also teaches English, but he actually teaches how to speak English. But here, Christian, this is a 1990 tour, I mean, 1999 tour shirt diabolical extermination tour 1999 here is a necrot blood offerings long sleeve from 2017 when the album first came out i know they just reprinted these uh, Pyropress did it, so it's like HD printing, super nice. This is the original one, it's still, I think, super nice. I still wear it constantly, I love that record. And we have, I have a couple death t-shirts, but uh, this one right here is one of my favorites. Scream Bloody Gore, but in black and white with like... The old, old logo, I think. It's just badass. I just fucking love this shirt. This one, too. Torture Rack. Malefic Humiliation. And on the back, you got the dudes. Pierce and Company. Down here, this is a Morbid Angel tour shirt. Before they totally shit the bed. Sorry, but Altars of Madness all day. The back design's pretty bad, but Masters of Chaos tour 2005. I think fucking Soulfly headlined this. I don't even remember. But I always thought the back of it was kind of just weird looking. But it's all gravy. And uh, I heard there was some problems with Iron Reagan recently. But uh, I always thought this was awesome. <laughs> Your kid's an asshole. With fucking Bush having a baby's head explode in his face. I always thought that was cool. But it's not cool if those rumors are true. And you can't go wrong. Come on. Sky's the limit. R.I.P. B.I.G. And over here. We have obituary calls of death and that pretty much sums up this pile this fucking mess one day i'll organize everything but we have one closet left but it's just a wee closet so don't worry all right so i'm gonna end it with this batch right here because this vital remains shirt for dechristianize i got when my old band 
opened up for Vital Remains the first time. We actually were thanked on the Icons of Evil record, but I always thought the Let the Killing Begin de-Christianized shirt was fucking badass. Also considering got it when we played a show with them. Here's a bootleg ECFNW shirt I got at this like fake ass like I don't even know where I got it but it's still badass but at the same time I know the colors are inverted so I know that it's a bootleg but that's just the way it is but this shirt again has so many fucking mem memories Good times at the ECW arena. Here's Nails. Among the Arches of Intolerance. Napalm Death Scum. Again, got this when we played a show at Napalm Death. And this was such an awesome gift from Pink Bike Ralph. King Neil Diamond. <laughs> Badass. But those are pretty much my shirts and whatnot for the most part. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. As always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. I'm wearing an extremely rotten production shirt now. Hells.